Baltimore and Denver, great matchup here. I do have this as a possible circle play as a team total for the Denver Broncos in this game, Hmm. but you might be down two offensive linemen for this weekend. That's devastating. Teddy Bridgewood is the top five quarterback in the NFL in efficiency this year. Tremendous. Two big-time wide receivers now with Tim Patrick stepping up along with Cam Sutton. Good running game. Great defense at home in electric atmosphere. And I do think Baltimore will be able to score some points. I just don't trust that Baltimore defense anymore, even though they're going to get some help back here from the injury list and the COVID list. But that's a tough place to play. And I'm looking at it right now. I I haven't seen the practice sports for Denver yet. But if they get those two offensive linemen back in practice, they're going to win this football game. Baltimore is a heavy public favorite. And that line ain't going anywhere right now as minus ones are across the board as a favorite for the Broncos. I think the Broncos beat them straight up if their offensive line is healthy this week. Yeah, this is a fascinating game. It really is, is. Donnie. And uh, look, I'm going to go. I can't if I'm just picking on how these teams have played so far this year. It's the Denver Broncos. But we've been doing this long enough to know it's good to buy low and sell high. So let's 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 keep in mind. Denver has not beaten a team who's won a game yet. Their combined record of the three teams they've beaten is 0-1. True. Baltimore has looked atrocious. But when I get a team of Baltimore's pedigree against a Denver team who hasn't proven anything to anyone yet, I mean, they just haven't, plain and simple. I know they won the games, and you got to beat the teams you're supposed to beat, and that's good things to do here. But when I get a team like Baltimore with their pedigree, I'm getting points on the road, maybe a point. I mean, it's there's close to a pick em what right across the board. This this yeah, line is exactly. really – it's really gotten tight Roughly here. the winner is just going to need to win the game. I, I'm yeah. just following here when I say this. Do I think Denver has looked more impressive than Baltimore? Absolutely. Have I been to – this? Uh, should Baltimore need a 66-yard field goal to beat the Lions? Absolutely not. That that There's no excuse for it, and it's atrocious. But – if I'm going off just long-term strategy here, a team with the pedigree of the Ravens, I'm going to buy low on them and sell high on a team like the Broncos who I haven't seen them beat anyone yet. Will I actually have money on this game? Hell no. This game for me is too close to call, and I really need to see, is are the real Baltimore Ravens going to show up, or is this the real Baltimore Ravens? Are the Broncos going to regress against a tougher defense, a tougher type atmosphere, a tougher type team? Will T- Teddy Bridgewater be able to get him there? I'm just not sure yet. So for me, I will take Baltimore and their pedigree and buy low on them. Do I feel great about it? No, I don't. Will I have any money on it? No, I won't. But uh, for me, I'm going to lean Baltimore here as the slightest of underdogs. Yeah, I'm trying to take, find a way to take that because it is low in totals. You're looking around those 21-point ranges here for both of these teams in that game. So it'll be interesting to see. But I, I had it circled. Then I saw the injury Tough. report come out there for Tuesday, Wednesday. I said, come on, man. You know, Glasgow and Reese, they're both not practicing it's really hard to win football games when your yeah. offensive line is banged up. But Teddy can get out of the pocket, make some moves. It has been very good on the season. We'll see if it plays up. So that's another one that we'll take a look at maybe on Sunday when we do mm-hmm. our closing line show to see that final injury report and see what makes the most sense in here.